Let us introduce to you the next competitors. For the red corner, Shay Montague. For the blue corner, please welcome to the cage, Kieran O'Brien! This contest, ladies and gentlemen, is a grappling match for the under 70 kilos lasting one 10 minute round. And is sponsored by Alicat Academy from Tawley. Over to our red corner, fighting out of Grip House from Lazo Shane Montague. To my right, fighting out of the blue corner from Kaizen Academy in Lancaster, Kieran O'Brien! <laughs> Your referee for this contest, Liam Cat. Evolution of Combat 4 at the Maryhill Community Hall in Glasgow. This is our third sub only grappling competition of the night. Featuring Kieran O'Brien of Kaizen Academy versus Shea Montague of SBG Mori in this under 70 kilogram submission only contest. I've seen uh, I've seen Kieran fight MMA before, very funky style, and I've trained with Shea. And in my opinion, she is the best grappler in Scotland just now. I mean that in a pound for pound dream scenario, but uh, he is Instant honestly guard pull phenomenal. There from, oh, ah, double guard pull, fantastic! That's what we want to see. After all the big guys wrestling, we got these two yep. wiry guard players just sitting down straight off. As much as this is an under 70 kg title, I know for a fact she is under 60 kilos. Well, Kieran, Kieran weighed in uh, this morning at 66, so nice. they've both got a lot of weight to play with. I think the uh, no, um, no one was stressing too much about what they were eating in the run up to this. No, I no, can for imagine. sure. I think for they were sure. they were very chilled out going and up. Kieran going oh, and we the have entry the leg lock, but she looks like that. She rolls over for that Berenbolo. Oh, and he comes right around looking for the back, goes to the crab ride there. He's got Lock body on the waist, he's still got that crab hook in. He's maybe oh, going to come up on the leg drag, leg drag, possibly. Phenomenal transitioning here Lovely. from Shea. I don't think I've ever won a second of a round with Shea, and he looks like an unassuming <laughs> librarian. Shea looking goes for the leg right over. Now, possibly. He's looking for that 411 there, he just needs to pull the leg through a little bit more. I think we're going to see some real. Uh, it's going the first one, which is going to really look like a sub-only contest. I yep, think yep. no, no one cares about passing guard or wrestling. I wish I could bottle the salty tears of the old school jujitsu guys watching <laughs> this. <laughs> this would never work in a street fight. Nah, it's not. This is not a street fight. This is the furthest thing you could get. This is uh, somewhere between acrobatics and combat. Yeah, physical chess. Mm. Flexibility and trying to think a few steps ahead. Kieran goes in there for that reverse Della Riva, looking for the yep. kiss, kiss of the dragon. The dragon there, yep. Shea just shits, uh, sits right down. <laughs> I hope he did not do yeah. the fall now. <laughs> that would be a problem. Kieran, Kieran going on the leg, leg lock. Shea going for that back again. Shea jumps down. Kieran just looking a little for that leg bit too far out. Yeah, like the the knee, he just, just doesn't quite have the knee there. there. Um, Kieran could potentially be trying to isolate the heel there, yep. But Shea just tries to ride around for the back. Kieran rolls him off. Oh, Kieran's, he's got his, he's, he could potentially turn this. Oh, Kieran's in deep that's there, he's going to roll for the heel hook. That's a deep heel hook. Shea doesn't even look bothered. Yeah. 
He looked in trouble. I oh, know. Yeah. I, th I, think, I think that was my. I think he was slightly stressed there. He looked. Yeah. I, could, I could read just an iota of tension on his face there. His knees are made of Haribo. No doubt he's been in worse situations, but you could tell he, you know, he, uh, Kieran gained the respect of uh, of Shea from that. It looked dangerous. It's by far my favourite match of the night so far. No offence to any of the prior grapplers, this is just what I like to see a bit more. What about you? This is, uh, yeah, exactly. This is just kind of pure sub only jiu jitsu. Yep. Yep. Um, you know, neither of them are really bothering making a physical shot of it. It's just purely down, like you said, to the human chest. Kieran once again trying to isolate that heel, looking for the heel hook. Kieran again in a good place there. Oh, and then Shea turns that into a. I just can't keep up with all the different nah. guards we're going through nah. here. Tries to. Inver again into a kiss of the dragon. Kieran sits down. And let's see if she, I think Shea's going to try and go underneath him. Oh, he's isolated that ankle now. Kieran tries to step out. Shea just inverts through, and Kieran just kind of toddles off. Reset back up. Hard reset. Oh, oh cartwheel there. Cartwheel. It's holding the leg. And it looks like Shea's going to look for that Baron Bolo again, but not when Kieran's got nah. the leg. Kieran just needs to. Step that leg over and he can maybe try and attack the heel hook again. Kieran pummels to the inside. She nice stands up. I think they're both so they can both see things coming a mile away. The yeah. second Shay um, realized that Kieran had pummeled to the inside there, he just stood up, went for the hard reset. Some absolutely crazy jujitsu here. Bear in mind, these guys are both just purple belts. Yep. And this just kind of shows you the level of contemporary jiu-jitsu at the moment, where you have a lot of these up-and-coming wiry purple belts with uh, skills which look... Oh, Kieran rolls a potent... Oh, again, Shea just gets the knee yep. out of there. She's rolling over there. And he's there. trying to turn it... I think she's trying definitely... Trying to turn it into a crab ride again. Oh, are you going for that knee butt? No. She's going for that, that back take again. Oh, he's isolating the leg. He's isolating ah, the leg, and Kieran just... Steps out, but Shea still got control of that ankle there. Kieran pushing the leg down, just trying to get his ankle free. Some and real high level jiu jitsu here. This, is, yep, this awesome. is really what you think of when you say submission only. Yep. High level submission only grappling. We're in a kind of 50. Ah, uh, Shea's back up and out. Just both of them fixated on the other's legs. Just to see if we can tear an IT band or an ACL. <laughs> He runs around. Kieran inverts. He can he can hang out here all day. He's not he's not stressed by this position. I don't think any of them would be. I think they're very similar players here. We're hitting the five minute mark, so we're halfway in this match just now. Still got halfway to go. Shay's there. He's trying to maybe looking at steam a lot. Yeah, he's kind of yeah. looks like he's setting that up. Kieran just slips out of it far too wiry. Shea stepping into these, the middle, potentially looking... I think we're lucky here. These are the type of matches we... Oh, nice, nice. And once again, Shea just scrambling for the back there, looking for that crab ride. As we're saying there, this is a match that wouldn't go missing a Polaris undercard. Never mind. Oh, no, that, yeah. Never mind in uh, uh, a central halls in Glasgow, do you know what I mean? I think we're, we're really lucky to have this this level of jiu-jitsu present in here just now. I could I could happily watch this as a, as a main event on a Polaris card, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. I would, uh, you know what? I don't think that's far away for Shea. The, the way he's advanced the past couple of years, I think that's that's definitely the path for him. With Kieran, obviously, his focus is MMA, so I'm sure he'll be he'll be a, a, a pretty big name in the UK pro MMA scene and in, in not all too long. Both of these fighters coming into this with recent successes. Kieran winning his uh, his previous MMA fight by triangle choke. Um, you know, he's happy fighting from the bottom. Um, and Shea, obviously, is our current under 70 kilogram um, submission only champion. Step through oh. from Shea. Oh, Kieran tried to go in the leg. There's there. just a, a glimpse of 50 50 there. Yep. Oh, oh nice Kieran inverts entry round. Nice oh, entry, excellent shit. entry. Shea just sits yep. down again, looking for that crab ride. Is it, those games are so similar. I think that's not the problem because it's obviously not a negative, but I think that's why they're cancelling each other out so much is just mm. the very similar players, well, we similar do body get to types. See these, uh, these amazing transitions, you know, just if one of them was just a few kilograms heavier, this just wouldn't be possible. But yep. Because we've got these two extremely flexible, wiry characters, they're just able to wrap around each other and play this uh, 
this game of snakes and ladders. I think we're just about the almost the two minute mark just now round about. So if uh, someone wants a submission, I think it's time to start getting to work now. Yeah, it's very. I mean, we've had some some earnest 411 and knee bar attempts from yep. uh, from Kieran, yep. but we've also had some nice ankle isolations here from. Oh, Kieran! Oh no, no, no! Nah, nearly looked like he was setting up a triangle for a moment there. Someone needs to hail Mary now and just. Yep, exactly. You know. I think in terms of submission attempts, Kieran's kind of edging it just now. You've got and it. I think attempt is the word. I don't think exactly. any of them have been close. Bar that first. I think heel the rule, hook. the rule set for the submission. You, you're, you're essentially, if you, if you're not going to submit the guy outright, you want to be selling your submission attempt to the ref. She's trying to, to go the on judge. the back here now. Maybe come up into that knee, uh, that that leg drag position. Unsure. Kieran just shrimps out. Oh, he's going oh, on the leg now. Well, She's going on the leg. Got the leg. Oh, and his Kieran knees clear of the Straight the out. There. Straight yep. out. Yeah, no, no Spats chance. Spats come in very useful in yeah, those situations. Yeah, just but I think out. They, they make it difficult for you setting up your own your own ankle lock, so it's one of those ones, mm. the Spats. Well, I can tell you, uh, first time, Kieran very rarely will wear shorts. He, oh, uh, really? Spats all day, every day. Shea just trying to invert again. Kieran sitting right on. Kieran looking for a toe hold there. She comes ah, back she looking for that leg. That Kieran there, but denies it. Oh, just oh, that elevation. Lovely. Phenomenal. <laughs> Kieran looking just to extend the knee. Look for that knee bar. Yeah. He's got, oh, he's got quite a nice bit of, um, once again. Oh, maybe he's, oh. I think all, mm. everything, all the attempts you do on Shea just seem to lead to him Diving for that crab ride, yep, exactly. yeah, he just dives yep. underneath you, and gets his uh, gets his little crab hooks in. I feel sorry for anyone who's uh, just turned up, who's never done anything about jujitsu, <laughs> watching this. <laughs> and if you're listening to this commentary, it probably sounds like we're talking yeah, in a different exactly. language as well. His uh, high-level jujitsu. Oh, nice follow draw there from Kieran. Well, Kieran's just going for it now. Here, I think Kieran yeah. is just going to be looking for that. Must be under a minute now, I would imagine. Yeah, steps in again, looking for some kind of 411 entry, looking just isolate the leg. It's just got a, a tight grip there on the ankle. We both both share a, a glance at each other, realizing how close it is. I imagine. You can see the perspiration there on the on the forehead of Kieran. She oh, looking for the Shea straight there, ankle the straight lock. lock. So is Kieran. We oh, have a dual yes, straight a battle ankle, of the lock. ankle lock. Here, Here we go. go. I don't think anyone's going to give this up, though. Very interesting grip she's got, though. Very interesting grip. They're both far too flexible, and it's far too yep. close to the end, though. That was and we're back <laughs> to that reset top position. <laughs> Who do you give this to? Oh, and we jump again, we and here come the Hail Marys, there and time, go. what Lovely. a fantastic... Really high-level jiu-jitsu on display Fantastic there. That was awesome. match there, just two very, very bendy guys just wrapping around each other. Yeah, I would hate to be a, a casual fan looking in there. This is not the casual entry to, to jiu-jitsu, is it? All. No, this is, this is high-level submission-only grappling here. Leg locks and leg attacks galore. Yep. Very much the, the end thing in jiu-jitsu at the moment is the, mm. the whole leg lock, Danaher death squad style of things. And uh, I personally love it. I think it's very, very cool. Like, I know loads of people complain about it, but I've never had a problem with leg locks at the grip house where I train. Like, as long as you're not like a, an arse about it, it's, it's always been, been fine. We've been leg locking for, for years, so I think I'm, I'm pretty pretty okay with them. You it's play leg locks yourself? Um, it's something I've dabbled in. I'm, yeah. uh, I wouldn't, I, I've definitely always been more of an IBJJF bro, to be honest. But um, I think nowadays in jiu-jitsu, if you're not at least dabbling in leg locks, you're missing a huge part of not your own game, but what someone else may try and well, work uh, on you, especially in this rule set. Sir John Danaher says, why would you ignore 50% of the human body? Exactly. He also wore a rash guard to a wedding, so I don't know how much I trust him as a philosopher. <laughs> Oh no, I definitely, I don't, I don't trust the guy, but he's a phenomenal <laughs> coach. Ladies and gentlemen, please, a big round of applause for our competitors for that contest. Be interested to see the decision here. It was a very close decision in that grappling contest, but the referee's decision for the winner.